I do have a tech channel that I'm launching, um, but I'm going to put a couple of tech videos on here just to start with. So if it seems a little bit out of context with the channel, you know why. Most of them will be shorts because the idea of the tech channel is to give you information on something technical within two minutes. Uh, two minute fix to this, one minute fix to that, three minute fix to that maximum. So the idea is to make a channel short, mostly shorts with some longer um, longer videos, if I have to, for longer fixes. But the idea is that my technical knowledge is, I don't do Apple stuff, but every other kind of device, most of them, I've had some kind of knowledge or experience in. So some of the texts might just, some of the tips might just be a, sh a, a shortcut on the keyboard that people just forget, don't know, never knew. Sometimes it can be a simple trick of uh, how you set a router up and other times it could be something a little bit more uh, intricate um, but it will cover things from graphics cards to your phone to playing a game on consoles for people who are interested in gaming to PC gaming to to Wi-Fi to th there's all these little tips and one by one they might not there's certain ones that may not be useful to you because they may be totally out of your league of what you're interested in or what you do but that's the point of why there's going to be so many different ones there's so many simple things that can be explained in two minutes or less that i um i keep coming across them and people when i tell them to people they're like oh i need that i need that so with that in mind um I have started making a couple of videos. I think I'll put one out as a try, but I'm not doing them sort of all, all buttered up and nice yet. I just wanted to, yeah, just to try and see what, what, what the interest was. Again, on this channel, I don't expect it to be that much, but I'm only explaining it this once because I'll put this on the other channel and then people understand. So the idea is to make very short clips to help people with a multiple, multitude of technical problems including phones, consoles, hacks, downloading, fire sticks, you name it. Um, I'll even take requests on questions. And anything I can get out in two minutes, I will. Anything that makes maybe take a bit longer a video, I'll consider, um, depending on how well the channel goes. But the idea is to get quick tech, tech tips out there that, that people search for hours for and yet they're actually really quite simple. So as I said, this one won't be a short because of the fact that I'm, I've had to do the, the, the intro. But this is for people who use uh, a PC. This is for gamers or people that use um, high-end video cards. Um, so um, the latest series is the 4 Series RTX if you use NVIDIA. Now if that's already lost you, this is probably not the video for you. If you use uh, NVIDIA RTX cards, then you may have noticed that when uh, I actually owned an NVIDIA 3070 at one point, um, and I've had to sort of downgrade actually to a to a, although it's not much of a downgrade to uh, uh, an NVIDIA RTX 2080 Ti. So there's two things that they said that you couldn't do when they launched the 3070. That was before the 4 Series, and they said the same thing when you launched the 4, 4 Series. And one of the things was, they said you couldn't use NVIDIA Broadcaster. What's important about that? Well, NVIDIA Broadcaster, um, you know all the background removal you get via software, via the video editors and other programs that you use. Well, NVIDIA has it built into NVIDIA Broadcaster to take the background away, but it uses all the latest technology and it uses hardware rather than software to remove the background. Now, anybody that understands the difference between hardware and software understands that anything software emulated, anything, any program that is designed to do what hardware could do is never going to do it as good as the hardware because it's just a program designed to use what little hardware you've already got. Whereas hardware designed for a specific task is always going to be much better. Hence why onboard graphics and onboard sound will never equal a dedicated graphics card, for instance. So the first thing to remember is that these days, NVIDIA broadcast that you were told would not work on any uh, older cards actually works on them fine. They've completely forgotten they ever said it. 
so that was a bonus tip for today as it's the first kind of video. The second tip's a bit more complicated, but again, it, I'm going to post the info to it underneath this so you've got more time to sit and watch it. But the other thing, the other lie that they've told um, is that you can only run the chat GTX, sorry, RTX, which is, again, is a AI chat specifically for these types of cards because it's using all the power of the video card to be able to give you proper AI responses. And bear in mind, the way models work with videos card is you can buy a, you can buy a newer model video card and it won't be as good as an older model video card. So the idea they were trying to give us is there was something new in these video cards that wouldn't allow you to use an older video card to chat with the with the uh, with the chatbot with the RTX specific chatbot. RTX meaning that's the model of the of the graphics cards. So, and please forgive me, I'm doing this off the top of my head rather than pre-planning it like I was supposed to when I did these videos. But this is a bonus video. So what you need to do is you need to go to the NVIDIA website and you need to go and download Chat RTX first. It's about a 10 gigabyte file. Once unpacked, it becomes a 12 gigabyte file. So it's quite big, so you need to go and download that first. Once you have done that, and again, I will post the actual proper instructions underneath the video. Once you've done that, you need to, un once you've unzipped the package, you need to go into the chat RTX folder and you need to find uh, a folder, um, sorry, you need to find a folder called chat RTX and you need to go in there and look for a file called chat RTX.nvi. When you have found that file, you need to, um, you need to open it with a notepad. When you open it with a notepad, you're then looking for something that, again, I'll post under the video, but basically it, it's custom name GPU support check, yeah? So it's looking to see what GPU you've got. So it's not based on what your GPU can actually do, it's based on looking at what model GPU you've got, what model graphics card you've got. It's got nothing to do with power and everything to do with what model graphics card you've got. It's another lie that they've told, and it's a very, very naughty one because they're telling you you need newer cards to be able to use these things. So you go into this, you edit it, and you take out the, 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 the custom, and again, I'll, I'll, I'll post it, so the, the, GP, uh, sorry, the GPU check, you remove that line completely, you save the file again, um, and you make sure it's all in, in the same directory as it all started, and then you go to the, um, the, the app installer, and you go and install it as normal, and for me, other people are about to take other steps. For me, with a 2080 uh, Ti, 11 gigabytes, it's installed perfectly first time. So that is how to get um, Chat RTX working for me on a 2080 Ti that it's supposed to never be able to run on because they don't have the ability. It's a load of rubbish. You're being lied to so that you upgrade your card for reasons that don't make sense. So this is an eight minute video, most will be two to three minutes.